Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to day 29. We are in week six of commercial diving school. In this video, I'm gonna be going over everything that we did today. But first, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a like if you enjoyed, and leave any comments or questions down below. Now, I'm gonna be pretty honest with you guys. Today, we didn't do very much. We started off with breakfast. It was eggs and ham. And then we went straight to the classroom and we started talking about material handling. Now it's more like safety and construction stuff and how to communicate when you're on a job site. Um, it's all coming out of um, the NCCER um, book that you get um, and what their organization puts and all the information they put out about basically job sites and all that kind of stuff. So um, I can't really explain it, but other than it's like safety stuff and stuff that you would ex expect to see on a job site like communication and hand signals for like crane operations and there's some stuff about not tying in there as well in that section but we just basically did that for about an hour and then we after that we went out to one of the dive stations and then we got to practice some not tying so the instructor took us out there and we drug ob over to an open area this like um, piping kind of rig um, it's basically like a metal um, box and then they stuck two pipes on each side and kind of tied it together so you have one about 20 20 inch pipe or 20 foot pipe on one side and then on the other side you have another 20 foot pipe and then half the class lines up on one side and half the class lines up on the other. And then you just practice doing your knots. Now some knots you don't need to tie around something, but other knots you need something to tie them onto because that's the purpose of them. Um, some knots, um, the purpose of them is to tie them to something. So if you don't have something to tie them to, they don't really work out. So that's basically what we did for about an hour um, and I really want to do a video this weekend, probably Saturday, um, about the different knots that we went over. Because like I said in um, yesterday's video, that the video that I watched before I came to school, it had you know various knots in it, but it doesn't have all the, video, all the knots that we did today. So I wanted to include all of that in a video to show all the knots that we went over. So I, I really want to do that. So if you guys are interested, definitely stay tuned for that um, coming up. And then, um, but anyways, um, so that's basically what we did. We kept practicing um, and practicing over and over and over. And then after that, we basically went back to the classroom and we kind of waited around a little bit for lunch. Um, and then for lunch today, we had Philly cheesesteak sandwich and curly fries and mixed vegetables. After lunch, we went back to the classroom and we basically watched some clips from commercial diving documentaries. Um, so um, one was one was about like sat diving and they were working on an oil rig and um, during Hurricane Katrina that basically destroyed a lot of the oil rigs out in the Gulf of Mexico and so these sat divers had to go down like thousands of feet deep or around you know between a thousand to two thousand feet deep and they had to cut like um, sections of pipe that got damaged and what I didn't know that I learned was that there's not just a bunch of oil rigs out in the Gulf of Mexico but also there's piping systems so there's a bunch of pipes that run along the seabed and carry um, oil like kind of like a spider web it kind of webs out everywhere so i didn't know that i thought there was just oil rig they go over you know drill take the oil from there but there's actually pipes that run along the, the ocean floor so that's something new that i learned um, i kind of want to look more into that and kind of learn more about that because um, it sounds kind of interesting how that works but um, yeah, we watched the clips from the documentary on that. The other documentary, I think, had some, some uh, more sat diving to it. 
uh, saturation diving. And then um, after that, we basically just sat around, you know, we didn't really do much. Um, to be honest, I was kind of a little bit irritated that we were just sitting around, not really doing anything because we finished our lessons for the day. But I think the reason why they don't just let you go home early or stuff like that is because you have, you know, the juniors and the seniors that would basically find out that, oh, the sophomores got let go early. So why, why didn't we get to, go, get, get to go home early when we were sophomores, you know, that kind of thing. So um, it's just, you know, to make it fair, everybody has to stay the whole day, even if you finish early or whatever. Um, you know, plus we're trying to work on um, our, you know, it being an actual job. So being that we're practicing for real, you know, work, real job out in the real world, um, you don't just, you know, I mean, sometimes you, I mean, so yeah, sometimes you would get to go home early, but just because the job is done may not necessarily mean that, you, oh, you just get to go home in the middle of the day or whatever while everybody else has to stay and work because their job's not done. Just stuff like that is I, the reason I think why we, if even if we're done, we don't just get to go or or get to do at least something else until the evening muster at 5 p.m., but anyways, yeah, I mean, like, basically all we did was go into a classroom, look at PowerPoints for an hour, work on our knot tying for an hour, wait around till lunch, um, go to lunch, and then after lunch, watch some videos for about an hour, and then for like three hours, we were basically sitting around either, you know, guys were playing on their phone or um, we were practicing knot tying or we were just talking to one another um, you know trying to make the time pass by but yeah I really felt like we could have been you know diving or you know we could have done something um, that could have saved time for another day and then that would have freed up more time so we can you know get more experience welding or something like that but um so yeah i mean that's all we did today was watch some videos tie some knots but yeah so that's basically all i have for today's video but tomorrow we should be scuba diving at the end of the day and then next week we're going to be diving the whole entire week so definitely stay tuned for that and this weekend, like I said, the knot tying video, and then obviously the week six weekly recap, if you wanna watch that. I'm just gonna be recapping what I did every single day in a quick video, like Monday I did this, Tuesday I did this, Wednesday I did this, and then talk about how the week kinda went. I already know off the top of my head, I'm gonna say something about it just being a really, really, really slow week this week. Um, but yeah, um, stay tuned for that if you're interested. So that's all I got, you guys. Um, I hope you have a great one. If subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave any comments or questions for me in the comment section. Really, you guys, I want to see what you guys have to say. So, um, yeah, that's all I got for you. Have a great one. Peace.